Hallie, you look absolutely stunning as oh, always. Thank you. Thank you for having us here this evening. It oh. means a lot. Thank you for having us. And me too. I'm so happy you guys came out tonight Thank for this. You. We know how important the Genesee Centre is to you. And with everything happening to you right now, you're even here tonight, yeah. which says a lot. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. You know, I really am. I, I, I keep pushing. I'm doing okay. And I'm really happy to be here because whenever you're going through anything in life, when you step outside yourself and you focus on others, that's always the best remedy for any situation that you'd rather not be dealing with. You're such a strong, independent woman. Do you think Nala knows how strong her mummy is? Oh yeah. You should be in my house. <laughs> oh yeah, she knows. She knows. <laughs> What about Halloween? What's a little Maceo yeah. <laughs> and Nala dress up as? Well, Maceo didn't go trick or treating because he has chicken pox. Oh, he but, does. Yeah. <laughs> oh, poor baby. But I know. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, he has the pox. Oh. But he was a bee and Nala was a she zombie was cheerleader. <laughs> and we had a great time. Did you dress up? I did. And? I was a pirate. Were you a hot pirate? And she called me a sexy pirate. Oh, she was you're a sexy it? pirate, mommy. I'm like, what do you know about a sexy pirate? <laughs> I mean, do you have, I can't believe I'm saying this, a 50th birthday? <gasps> Dare no! Oh, I can't, that can't Dare be. Dare you say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't say it. But you just never, ever age. We're not going to let that happen. No. no. I am not going to be defined by that number. That's what I'm not going to have happen. Yeah, it's coming. So what? I am not going to be defined by that five zero. Good for you. But are you going to celebrate? You're going to have a big party and celebrate? I've never had a party. Well, let's have a party. And I'm not going to have a party. <laughs> really? I wanted to come and go as fast as I can. <laughs> now, so, I'm going to take about my five best girlfriends to a Caribbean island. Oh, We're going to have fabulous. a cleansing. We're going to jump in the ocean butt naked and have a spiritual moment and bond and connect as women. And that's how I'm going to blow it out with my girls, with my best, yeah. closest, dearest friends. Which, which better way? There's no better way than to be with your tried and true girls, girlfriends, women. I, I, I love my women -ships. I know how important this is to you. So to celebrate, 35 years, what does that mean to you and to the Genesee Center? It's huge for the center. You know, there are charities that come and go and they don't last long and they don't have, this has been a, it's, it's an institution here in Los Angeles. It's, it's, it's a part of the fabric of the community and it's a charity that really services what I call the forgotten ladies and children. And it's so important that we keep bringing awareness to domestic violence and human trafficking because it's all lumped in together. And it's so important that we keep shining this light on this issue and we keep helping these women help themselves and helping our community heal itself. Why is it so hard for women to leave their partners? When they're in these situations, why is it so hard to leave? It's. It starts from birth. It's the messages that we're given as youngsters about who we are in the world, how we fit in the world, and how we're valued in the world. And women are so often devalued and marginalized and minimized. And we grow up with that belief about ourselves. So when we find ourselves in an abusive relationship, we don't think we're worthy to be out of it. We don't think we deserve better. So our idea at the Genesee Center is to teach them a better way, sort of let them know that someone loves you. The community loves you. We're here to teach you what you didn't get taught in your family of origin. That's our big dream. And what advice do you live by that you give to these women? I say something that's very simple. It, it's hard for them to digest in a moment, but I tell them if a man or anyone lays their hands on you one time, they will do it again. When they try to say, but he said he's not gonna do it again. It happened once. Girl, it's gonna happen again, and you have to go. You have to love yourself and your kids enough to go.